of independent traders, which makes a massive difference. It's not like every high street you go to that's full of all the big chain stores and everyone is identical, everyone is the same. Um, you get a warm welcome in every shop, everyone's pleased to see you, everyone goes that extra little bit out of their way to make sure that you're satisfied with the goods that you buy. You're always made welcome, you're always made to feel special and that you are the number one priority when you walk into that shop. people are browsing around the shop having a look at pieces that are already on display for sale, they can actually see me working so they can actually see you know, pieces coming together slowly. There's not a lot of places you can go where you can choose to have something made, decide on an idea and watch it come together piece by piece through to its final completion. The best thing about making a piece for a client is that final moment when you finally hand it over and you can, you can almost read the face, you know, you can see the sense of enjoyment. Quite often because they'll have watched it from stage to stage at times, seeing something that doesn't really make any sense all of a sudden come into fruition. It gives me a great sense of enjoyment myself, seeing people happy with what I've produced. Tox is all about like bringing fun to the high street and we think Barlick is very much about that so it kind of works well with us and you know there's a good sense of community and this is what the shop's about really, bringing the community together, inspiring creativity and, and Barlick is all about that for, for us anyway so that's why we're here. Uh, Barn Oswick for me is beautiful, I absolutely love it. Born and bred here, it's a beautiful little town and to know the people that live here, you know, some great people, great community spirit and that's why I feel good about people coming over here to get tattoos because I get to fetch them here and they get to bring their partners with them and their partners get to walk down into the town centre and see the, the, the vibe that's going on and the tea rooms and, and, uh, and over at the bistro and stuff, it's great, it's great, yeah, it's good. I think the market is just fantastic. It's bringing people into the town from Barra Ford, Nelson, Breafield. We've got people coming from Clitheroe and they come to see us. We're reasonable, everybody's reasonably priced. If we haven't got what they want, we get it for them. And I think you can say that for most of the stalls here. And you know, it's just, it's just going great guns. Our brewery's called Barley Brewery. That's interesting because there hasn't been a, a, Pendle, a brewery in Pendle for over 50 years. And it will be called Barlick Bitter. A community that doesn't have a pub in its heart uh, is just lacking totally. I mean, I mean this pub, you can, you can come in, you can tour, you can converse, you can play dominoes, um, darts, pool, whatever. It, it just lies at the heart of people's interests. Get this hello, because you'll enjoy yourself. Get in front of fire, sit with Fireside Club and you'll have a good night out. I think it's um, the fact that we have a lot of events in the square and that we've got people that are always determined to make this vibrant, lively, uh, entertaining, bringing people in so that the shops, the independent shops do keep going. I think it's fantastic. I think it's quite unique, to be honest. And the fact that you know, people from out of town come in for these events and actually realise that Barlick is a place that, oh my God, I didn't realise this is what it was like. And then they come back, it's wonderful. And it keeps the town alive. We just had one recently, which was just commemorating the 100 years of the First World War. You know, information in there that I found out, I had no idea. It's 
So we have things like ration books, the Defence of the Realm Act, Dora as it was called, which had sweeping powers of direction of people and property throughout the war period. The postcards are material that were used for convalescent soldiers who had been shell-shocked. They were used between 1916 and about 1919. beach I think is a fantastic idea for people who possibly won't have a lot of money to go on holiday, whose children won't get that opportunity to experience playing in the sand, playing with other children and that's something that is giving back to the community, giving children a holiday as such that they wouldn't normally have had. People on the beach were handing out little leaflets for us as well and they were all coming in with their leaflets and the, the shop got covered in sand a little bit but yeah no it definitely definitely helped trade for us so yeah no it was good.
brother We don't get on with one another But I quite fancy a mother And I think that she likes me Excellent. Did, did you hear that solo then? Unbelievable, man. Right? <laughs> no problem. Bolic has a great sense of community and I think what I like about it is all the, you know, the independent shops and they are, they're very creative businesses, they're very individual so it's nice for people to come and visit Bolic and see these kind of unusual, sometimes quirky shops which is kind of why we wanted to be here really. Everyone I talk to says Bolic lovely. We really, really say it's a one now. And it is! I moved here 13 years ago and they'll never get me out. I wouldn't shop anywhere else and I think it's a fantastic little town. To have all those special events, to encourage people, to bring the children, to learn lots of different things within that environment, it's just a marvellous thing to do. And I think the rest of the country needs to learn from the Barn Oldswick example. Yeah. 